the foundation of a bohemian. Sorry, the foundation of all bohemian is embodiment of the four great vows of a bodhisattva that we take. That is, we vow to deliver the innumerable sentient beings. We vow to cut off endless resection. We vow to master the limitless Dhamma dog approaches to Dhamma. And we vow to attain Supreme Buddhahood through perfection of the Ten Perfection. The first vow is to deliver the innumerable sentient beings. The second vow is to cut off the endless perfection. This means to endure and to actually persevere through all suffering, through whatever difficulties that you may encounter while undertaking the three pure precepts. You have to vow lie after lie to come back with the understanding to do this work. You have to endure them all. And that's the reason why in the Sabal Asavang Sutta is mentioned that there are things you have to endure. And the Bodhisattva endure even more, for you only endure the very simple things such as the bodily and all those minor suffering. But for this Bodhisattva way, you have to endure all the abuses, all the great difficulties that comes with all the very different type of civilization and beings you encounter while fulfilling this vow, the four basic vow. Whereas you manifest under different civilization with different type of condition. There are many things you need to endure and sacrifice and you have to do life after life, aeons after aeons. So this second vow to cut off endure and see through the endless perception is very important. It is not easy, but it's also not difficult when you have the understanding. When you have the wisdom, patience, diligence, faith and sincerity, you will be able to do it. Then what is the third basic vow? It is to master the limitless approaches to Dhamma. This means you have to cultivate all understanding. That's why the Wu Liang Yi Ching said, you have to penetrate all laws, all of the Dhamma, not only the handful of leaf for enlightenment to become an Arahant. This third law is to master the limitless approaches to Dhamma and liberate all beings. It means all of the penetrative Dhamma and interpenetrating Dhamma, you also need to cultivate them all. So it is more or less unending because this is all Sorry, it's more or less unending because this is all on the understanding of the various truth. Then the last one is the vow on how to attain Sama Sambuddhahood or Supreme Buddhahood to perfect the ten perfection. Of these four great vow, which is the first one, to deliver and liberate all sentient beings. Then to cut off all our section, endure and persevere through whatever suffering and misery. Yeah. That's how we perfect our patient endurance with wisdom. And you have to endure them all. Then you cultivate all understanding and vow to perfect the ten perfection to become Samasambuddha. These are the four great vows of the great Bodhisattva. So these four great vows of the Bodhisattva will carry you through in your cultivation.